Biggie, with the change of formation, what was your thinking behind that? Because quite clearly they couldn't cope with Shania and Amy up top. Yeah, I think that was bang on. I think we wanted to have two forwards up against their back three and I think that shape at the start of the game caught them off guard and um, I think that surprise of shape actually probably gave us that real confidence and advantage for us definitely those first 15 minutes of the game and obviously it was brilliant we found ourselves 2-0 up. So, yeah, the shape was good and then we made the tweak at half-time to, to ensure we were a bit more structurally um, harder to play through, I guess, and we got that two-goal advantage so we felt comfortable with that. And then, yeah, obviously the game develops and it ended in a way that, you know, it's really frustrating. How do you dissect a game like that where you're 2-0 up, 2-1, then you go 3-1 up, yeah. but then concede two late goals? Do you Are you going to look back at that and analyse why that happened? Yeah, definitely. I think you've got to see the game in different chunks. You know, if we were just looking at the first 20 minutes, we'd be you know, ecstatic with how we played and how we, um, yeah, almost took advantage of the weaknesses of Charlton and found ourselves 2-0 up. Um, I think for large spells of the game, we didn't keep the ball well enough regardless. Um, but yeah, I think obviously the last 10 minutes, I don't want that to overshadow, you know, great performance, but I think it showed in the game great moments of quality, but also our inexperience at times. And the last one for me is that international break, has that come at a good time or a bad time? Um, I thought it was going to be a good time with eight minutes to go. Now, no, I don't think it is a good time. I'd like to play in the next game, you know, next week and, and crack on again. Cheers, Becky. Um, just on the sending off, Becky, I mean, you know, FA's got that directors, but it must be extremely frustrating to lose a player like that. And it just changes the game as well, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, we should have saw the game out better with 10 players on the pitch. I felt like we were in that 4-4-1 structure and it should have been, you know, minimising spaces for them to play through and, and not allowing those deliveries into the box um, with 10 players. But as I said previously to the girls, you know, it's tough playing against Charlton with 11 players. And obviously when we went down to 10, it did feel like, you know, it, it felt tougher, of course, because um, we had that underload, I guess. But yeah. It's one of them, and we'll reflect on it, I'm sure, and um, go from there. And I mean, looking at overall again, you know, we've not played six games, and there's been nobody to fear, has it, really, in this league? So it must make even more perspective that you've dropped a couple of points, which really shouldn't have lost today. Yeah, I think we don't fear anybody going into games. We definitely didn't today, and obviously that's why we probably started the brighter of the two teams. Um, yeah, we've dropped points to Durham in a game we were dominant. You know, the stats would suggest we had the better of the chances and more possession and everything in the game. Um, obviously, the London City game, that was an excellent, you know, point away from home. And, you know, they've grown into the season and they're looking really good team in this league. So it was a good point. And then today, it's just hugely frustrating to have dropped two points um, in a game that, you know, we were, had a two-goal advantage. Uh, like you, uh, I think coming out of that game is almost a bit similar to Dome, it's kind of like a deflated feeling in the sense of the game, but I mean, performance-wise, uh, Dome should have won, I think today again, we should have won, so just yeah. uh, on a more positive note, just how you felt with the team's performances this season, because yeah. I think we have stood to, to every team quite so far. Yeah, I think you bang on, Adam, like, I'd probably be more frustrated if we were, you know, the gap was really big, we are so close, and it's... As you say, we're going toe to toe with every team in this league so far. Um, I guess at the same time, that obviously makes it even more frustrating because if we'd been, you know, beaten fair and square today, I think we would feel like that. It almost feels like a loss because we've drawn a game, but we were dominant and had thought that two goal advantage. So I guess it's it's almost a bit of both. You know, we're happy in one sense that we're that close, but being so close, it hurts even more because it's small margins that we didn't get right. And today, I mean. Straight away, she gets to say, well, hat trick. I felt yeah. like from that Dome game, we just weren't able to take chances. The day was so much better on the front of goal. So, yeah. um, straight away, being turned up, like we scored our first two shots as yeah. well. So, just how crucial was it to start a game that well just to make sure we can? I got so quite a few goals this league. Yeah, I thought, yeah, Shania is, you know, she's clinical in front of goal. That's what her super strengths are, her finishing definitely, and her ability to secure the ball and, and bring other people into play. And, um, yeah, you back her every single time with those pens for sure. She's ice cold in a process with how she takes pens. Um, and the first two goals are excellent. Good little link up with Amy as well. So, yeah, obviously credit to her. I'm disappointed for her to score a hat-trick in a game and not come away with three points. Um, so, yeah. And finally for myself, of course, we just played the steam against so the next two away matches are 
Birmingham City yeah. and Bristol, both of them being at their stadiums as well. So there must be a sense of accomplishment to be able to uh, we almost that, that star team that would have having their actual stadium, which is going yeah. those two away matches. Of course, I just mentioned the fact that it's in their stadium as well, it's going to be an even bigger yeah. uh, amount for us to climb now. So just how crucial is that we make sure, especially in these games, that we can actually walk away with the three points every time? Yeah, definitely. I think Birmingham and Bristol are two really established teams in the Championship. You know, Birmingham have been in it for a lot of years now and, and Bristol are obviously a team that got relegated from the WSL, so expect them to have a lot of quality, so they're going to be two hard games. Equally, I think they'll be similar, you know, a similar ability wise to Charlton. And um, yeah, we've just got to start the game like we did today, but have the experience to see it out and learn the lessons from today. I mean, it is by margins, isn't it? And that's the, that's the difference, or that's the lesson from the last two games. Yeah, definitely. I'm disappointed we conceded the set piece because we knew Charlton were experienced and you know they've got a good scoring ability from those set pieces so to concede the corner in the 90 minutes was really disappointing um, but again we just need to stay switched on in those moments and yeah we've, we've learned the lesson sadly. Is, is it sort of a, a bit of drifting momentum or is it a loss of concentration do you think in those last kind of couple of minutes? Potentially a loss of concentration I guess. Um, yeah, I think when you go down to 10, you feel like the momentum's shifting to the opposition because they've got the overload, I guess. Um, but yeah, when the set piece goes in the box, you've still got the same amount of players. You've obviously not got your nine who's who's stretching and they can get every player into the box, I guess. But yeah, we just haven't defended it well enough and it shouldn't be a free header for the for the goal that equalises. But I mean, to, to also to reiterate what's been done as well, you have to be... You have to be positive after yeah. after performances like that, don't you? Yeah, definitely. I think so. I think like it's yeah, you have to stay positive because football is so high and low so quickly. So you can be on a massive low the week before when we lost to Durham and then on a huge high when you take three points at the Stadium of Light. But I guess yeah, you just gotta kind of stay in the middle, I guess, and just ensure that we learn the lessons but yeah there's lots of positives from the performance definitely um i think we're in a good position to be really disappointed we haven't taken all three points um you know as we progress from tier three to the championship did people expect us to take three points off the child and you know who finished second in the league last season potentially not but yeah it obviously shows the progression we've made and, and where we're at